That's a live look over Grand Rapids right now. Remember to follow us on Twitter for all the latest news, weather and sports updates. It is heartbreaking watching a loved one deal with dementia and memory loss. Millions in the U.S. are afflicted and as the population ages, those numbers are expected to grow. In this week's Medical Moment, we look at types of dementia, how they differ and what can be done to help. It's a devastating condition. You know, it, it starts off affecting the person and very quickly spreads to involve the entire family. It is memory loss. Most of us will experience it in some point in our lives. And while minor forgetfulness might be joked about initially, hey, Dad, you already told us that story. When you stop and think about it seriously, it is frightening. And that fear may keep people from seeking help. You know, uh, years ago, we used to drag our feet. We didn't want to make a diagnosis. Uh, we had no intervention, and now it's just the opposite. We rush to make a diagnosis. There are several types of dementia, and each one manifests itself in a different way. Alzheimer's, it's, it's memory plus other thinking, cognitive skills. Very commonly, it begins gradually, slowly progressive. Uh, with the vascular dementia, we can see uh, abrupt changes with a stroke and uh, it's more stepwise uh, decline. When to see a doctor is often the hardest part for families. It is a very fine line there because as we age I think everybody has a little trouble with their memory <clears throat> and part of our evaluation is to sort out you know what goes beyond normal aging um, in, in, so I can't define that line uh, for someone who doesn't have dementia, but uh, just the families and people watch out for that. In the end, there is no cure for dementia. However, if it's diagnosed early, its progression can be slowed, give the patient a better quality of life. Uh, the real successes come down the road. After we've made the diagnosis, we have folks on medications, and, and that I can see, follow them with time, how the progression has slowed down in the medications and the activities that we recommend are working. To see more of our medical moments, just go to fox17online.com. You and I have done so many of the yes. medical moments. To me, this was probably the hardest one. It's heartbreaking. One. It is heartbreaking. And, going, and we went through that in my family with my grandma. And when she doesn't recognize her own kids yeah. and everything else, it's so, you know, it's, it's great then if you want to see the other medical moments online because it's great that he's talking about being possibly medication can help and yeah we're going to do more on that yeah. one uh, in a couple of weeks we'll touch back on dementia yeah. all right